Good morning, guys. It's early today. It's Friday. Breakfast of Champions with me. I'm on my way to Suwon Station. I have a couple of small errands to take care of. And later today, Steph and I are heading into Seoul for a special day at a place we've picked out together by process of elimination because we don't do this very often, so we're... <laughs> We're excited. We've been selective with a spot we think we're going to enjoy, and that's a special treat for us. So, looking forward to that. Gonna be a good day. It's my buddy Sammy, the pizza guy. <laughs> my God, where'd you get it? This is a camera I used to do some videotaping around Korea. This guy makes the best pizza in our neighborhood right here. Hey, take a, take a picture. Take a picture? I'm taking video. A video? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got some for you. Oh really? Oh, thank you. Hey, it's good to see you. Have a good day, okay? Yeah. That was fun. Funny thing about Sammy, he lived in Texas for 10 years, I think, or longer. Sort of as an intern at a pizza place and came back to Korea, he opened his own shop right around the corner from where we live. Prior to his pizza place opening, there wasn't a decent pizza place that we could order pizza from that wasn't at least 20 bucks for just a regular large pizza. And he sells pizzas for seven, eight bucks that are the same size and just as good if not better. Dude, God bless that man. Suwon Tourist Information Center, brand new kiosk for all y'all visiting Korea and coming to the right place right here in Suwon. It's really sunny today, you guys. Wow. I should have brought my sunglasses. So I'm going to head back home right now. I'm going to actually duck in here and get some lunch. It's about 12 o'clock. I just left the restaurant and started walking home only to realize I left the jacket that I brought with me in the restaurant, so I'm going back right now. <laughs> they got it. They put it in a bag for me. I guess I'm just not used to wearing a jacket yet because I'm clinging to summer, baby. It's. It's 1.40 and we're leaving the house today to go on our date, 4.30 or 5 at the latest. And I'm feeling like I should take a little rest before we go because I want to really have a nice time tonight and I don't want to be tired. So I might lay down and take a little nap before we leave. Yeah, come tell me that. station now and we need to take the subway to Seoul station and transfer to take the express subway to Hongdae because that's where we're going. My car's not working, so I gotta use Stephanie's. I'm talking about. Goodbye. 
Oh, that was uh, stressful. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's working again. That's a good day. We're in Hongdae right now, and there's a line to walk up the stairs to get out of the station. We've made it to Hongdae, and it's crazy here right now. We're looking for this place called the Gorilla Loungey, which was recommended to us as a really cool place to hang out and have a cocktail. I think it's this way. We're sort of lost right now. We're lost? I thought you knew where you were going. We made it! Cafe de Gorilla. We didn't go to the right place. We went to Gorilla Cafe and not Gorilla Lounge. So we're off to Gorilla Lounge. Can we find it? I see the sun. It's behind this truck. Such a sweet boy. You guys say goodbye to the gorilla? <laughs> that was fun. I really liked my last cocktail. It was a cosmopolitan mojito. And if you actually do come, I highly, highly recommend that because it was just so fresh and herby and delicious. I want another one, but it'd go to my head. <laughs> we left the Gorilla Cocktail Lounge. I recommend that place, you guys, if you are in Korea or if you are visiting and you come to Hongdae, that place is hot. It was really good. Like, gourmet cocktails. And good, too. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get when you go to a cocktail place here. They sometimes make them fruity and you're paying a lot of money and you're not really getting substance, like quality. And that place is... It was really good. Cool. That's the spot, yeah. Look at the colors. All oh, the beautiful colors.
we've made it to Gangnam and we're in kind of a predicament. It's a national holiday today and therefore the buses that normally run until 2 a.m. are not running. And Gangnam is not close to Suwon. I mean, we could take a taxi there, but it's going to cost us between 30 and 40 bucks. And a bus to Suwon costs two. And there's some people here that are waiting for a possible bus. A few buses have been going by, but not the regular schedule. And if you check online, you can't get actual information about today. It just pops up that the buses run until 2 a.m. Right now it's 1 a.m. and it's kind of chilly and we're thinking we should take a taxi but we don't want to because these guys are pushy and every, everyone that comes up to this area is in the same boat so you might try to find someone that's going to the same place as us. Right now we're looking for a sauna. We found one. I think this might be it. We've decided that a taxi for 35 bucks is not money well spent when we could do the sauna, maybe 10 bucks a piece, also sleep after we're done with the sauna. Are we take the elevator? Yeah. Hey guys, so we're in the sauna. This is the joint man-woman area. Just a little taste of it. The men are on the third floor, women are on the fifth floor in this place. So it's 10 bucks a piece to get in. You go down there. That's the men. go up there. All right, so then we're gonna do some bathing and then we're gonna meet back here. Sounds good. What time? I don't know, it's 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> we're meet at like 3, 3.30? All right, we'll meet in like an hour. Okay. All right, enjoy yourself. All right, you too. I'm in the men's area right now. And I gotta admit, I'm a little intimidated to take all my clothes off and go in there by myself. I did this once before, but I was with a friend, and it was a different situation than this. I don't know why, but there's a lot of people in here. <laughs> this is like confessionals, private confession. Oh. All right, we're just gonna do this. It's my locker, by the way. It's like my phone. My ring. We're gonna do this. I was just in the 41 degree sauna for about 15 minutes. Man, that feels so good. I did it. I did it. I went in there naked. I bathed. I got in the hot pool. I did the 41 degree sauna, which was amazing. And now I'm gonna go meet Steph. <laughs> Put your hand in. I know these. This is Dr. Fish. Wow. So good, good. There are some massage chairs over here. I thought you had to pay. What does that say? What does that say? 1,000 won. Do you have 1,000 won? Upstairs. Nice to meet you. Oh. We are all bathed and clean and Speaky clean. feeling really fresh. I feel like my pores have all been cleaned out. How long were you in the hot room? I was in the hot room for about 15 minutes. I didn't go in the hot room. I just like, well actually I did for like two seconds, one minute. Okay. And then I was in the hot pool. <laughs> okay. This place is pretty cool. They have a restaurant. And that's the sleeping room right there. They have a TV. Play some cards. And you can get some drinks right here. And ice cream. Blood pressure. You can exchange auto bill. There, right there. Now you guys, I'm exhausted. I think I'm gonna catch some seeds in the room behind me. It's been a really unexpected day. We ended up at three in the morning in Gangnam in a bathhouse. That's it. We're out of here. How's the
Here's the plan. I have to stop at the immigration office right down the road here to pick up my new alien registration card. That should only take a minute. Then I need to get this vehicle inspected, which I haven't done yet. I planned to do it the other day and I wasn't able to. I'm also going to stop at the P.O. box because it's been at least a week since I've been there and I need to stop at the bank. And there's gotta be something else.